Here he is, the man, the myth. Oh, doesn't that noise make you feel happy? But, oh. What? Ah, fucking what? <laughs> We're still pulling debris out. I mean, look at that, that's getting worse, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So it's definitely still doing a job, you know. It's Early day in the office, isn't it, mate? Yeah, man. Tired today, hay fever is kicking in, but nevertheless, I've got some beacon here, so that'll sort us out. What's your plan today, anyway, mate? I've got a new man. Bet I am, never not, man. Oh. oh, look at these, what are these? New things with new cards. Please leave it at the customer's house. I tell you what, they're smart business cards, aren't they? Yeah, they're What do you think to them? Impress our service, scan the QR. So, this is the one that I'm back to today, two apart from the day. It's an inch internal, so yeah. I got it wrong the other day, totally wrong valve. I thought it was a 20 mil valve, so I'm going to get down there today, get this changed. I have to snap to a 20 mil pump valve on, but it shouldn't be a problem. And what I'm hoping to do here, rather than change that full body, because that'll be a nightmare, I'm hoping I can just disconnect them there. And just literally put that onto the newer body, so we'll go have a look. I'll give Honeywell a ring if I've got any technical issues in there, and see what I can do. No, Matt, look, we've got some shorts from, but Luke's got to wear multi colour ones, hasn't he? No, what air brand was he? Use the name brand yesterday. Southern Sons? No, I won't. That's that bad. Well, come on, lads, on the YouTube, this is so boring this morning. It's half seven. It's not that early. Attack the day, mate. Right, go then. Motivational quotes. Come on, Luke. Give us one. What is it you said before you went to you really having that? Life's the fullest. Right, so I'm in, and this is where we're at. I've got the pump out now, and this valve here, I'm going to have to snatch that lab because I'm not draining the full system. So I'm hoping when I do come to disconnect that, that, that thread will go straight on. I might, Matt, though. Oh. I won't get no play on that, do I? Might get a little bit of play on that, but I'll have to cut that down there definitely because that them valves are slightly bigger. Right, we'll have a direct, and I don't know if this is going to work. Maybe a bit of pressure behind that. No, oh, yeah, loads of pressure behind that. Don't have to risk it. Just serious pressure there, mate. Ones, mate. Oops, small ones. My daily ones. Yeah. Cheers, pal. <sighs> <sighs> oh, mate. There's a nightmare, this, mate. Dedicated now, look. A bit nerve-wracking. Let's go from there. You what? Right? You up there? Right? Shut up. Really so, I've got in the cupboard, but it was worth it because that goes to the floor below. So, I've got the new pump valve on there. Again, I put it straight on the that. I didn't want to drain the system. Uh, it's a one-pipe 
with a free and treat and main so I didn't fancy it so now I'll get underwear start putting the tool pot valve and stuff back together and get this uh, all put back in but yeah great success if you want there mate well if I want there mate you'll end up down the hallway somewhere <laughs> English weather for you, mate so this is where the 400s come into the road don't know Matt yeah, you're not really bothered are you? I'll get this wound up now, start placing all this back together. So this is where the issue comes into hand now because my gap here for the pump has been made a little bit smaller because it had a little old ball of fix on. So what I'm going to have to do is go get my stillies out of the van, try yank it under there and prise it up to pull that three inch main back if I can, just enough so I can slip the pump in. So a bit of a tedious one, but me and Matt... Got Tell me, mate, was that a nightmare or what? So what we have to do there, guys, is I had to get in, prise it open. Because then pump valve's a little bit bigger, put an all down there, prise it and push it across like that to be able to force that pumping because that was a nightmare. Now Matt, tell me what was wrong with your door. What? Tell him what's wrong there. Should never have a pump face and that works and cavitate, but it is what it is. We'll put it back as it was. Not a lot we can do, is it? No. But the cavitate, they can sometimes get air in there. But as long as I bleed it on this one, should be fine. But that was an absolute ball ache. So now I'll get this there, three pot, two pot disconnected and get all this wired back in again. Shouldn't be too bad looking at that, the wiring's straightforward, it's only an S plan, so. So, give a quick run for what the issue was before. So this is a very old, not really complex system, I'll be honest with you. What we have with our main flow comes off the boiler, which is this three inch here. Then it goes up to the one pipe system, but what they've done this is to put the two pots on the back side and the return. So when my hot water's in demand via this cylinder here, it draws off from a cylinder jacket there. Now these ones here, I think, and I'm pretty certain it's an old system, they're old radiator feeds. Not old radiator feeds, like when back in the days you used to put towel rails and bathroom radiators on them so that comes into my cylinder there warms up through my coil and it comes out on my return it's just that's a bit confused not where that goes but anyways and that's the return that comes out on my tool pot which is now open and allows a return back down back in and then straight back to the boiler what was happening before is because this valve was slightly open i can't see it's crap because that valve was slightly passing water it was allowing heat to go on the main heat system so it'd get heat on there, mate, full main heat, and it'd come back on itself because that wasn't fully closed and all the water to go for the building. So now we shouldn't get no trace heat going on the building. It should work. The zone should work independently. I mean, we'll go upstairs and check some radiators, but that return's getting nice and hot. And you can see by the cylinder stat. It's just clicking on off as it needs to be. So Job well done, mate. Yeah, it's a nightmare, but... Done it, haven't we? So sorted. More for the YouTube deal. So I'm back in office. Health and safety. PPE. What's going on with laptop stand? <laughs> Stop having my life on that. No, well, you, you know what I mean? You claim health and safety. Look. Might as well just put it like that. <laughs> <laughs> so come on then, give us it. I've got to go a bit late for my job. Quick motivational quote before I go. I have one for you now. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even wrote it down. I literally have one for you. But well, this might spoil it a little bit. <laughs> Just bear with me because you will like this, Nathan. You will. Yeah, I thought I'd give all of it. Right, there we go. Here we go. Discipline. Discipline is sacrificing the life you want to live right now for the life you want to live later. I like that, Dale, yeah. Hit home, I like that. I good shot, that. Respect, right, I'm gonna go. It's not your pal. <laughs> See you soon, lad. Right, so back to this one. I was back up a few weeks ago and went to flush the system. I did put like, a clean agent in the system, God, four or five weeks ago now, and the customer's advised that some of the radiators have started working a lot better. So we're gonna give it a flush today with the Magna Cleanse. You'll see from the video before it was a nightmare. So I have to cut these 20 mil return, these pipes here, should I say, uh, and look at obviously altering it to suit so I can get into the plan's gonna be. I can leave that isolated. I could maybe even work off that return there. It's a shame the boy haven't got an isolation valve, but could have worked off the return there. But I'm also look at cutting. Mm, I don't know. I'm going to join the system anyway. 
maybe even look at cutting there, like I say, then there should I say, and I can adapt on, and I'm literally just gonna flush all the flow of turns along the top. That's where I tip the bridge pump out. Busy one today, the team. I think I'll be, we'll be watching that'll be a long video. So yeah, got a busy week. I feel tired, I was up crack of dawn to get my first job done, but hey yo, we're busy. I'm Turn that radio up. down, why tell me? Uh, so what do you mean? Copyright infringement. Yeah, I got done last time, right? <laughs> right, so magna cleanse out. We're gonna run the full system fully. So this has got two very, very strong magnets. Show that. I get this one. On guard. Get it in your maggot. Go with your maggot. So strong they are. <laughs> strong, aren't they? So any debris in the system that will collect it, won't it? Yep. So We'll put that in there. We're going to put this from the core mains for a flush because we've had a, a system dose, some chemicals dose it, haven't we, for about four months, four weeks. Yeah. Something like that, and you can't get them up at that. <laughs> Go on, enjoy your abs. Mate, you try to pull, you try to pull them apart like, that way. Because, yeah. Which way? Right. <laughs> what? Because he it. What is it? Because he it. <laughs> Yeah. What were you saying? <laughs> what were you saying? <laughs> I'm like Shout out to, don't know, I'm shouting out to the fair, but I'll find out in a minute. Danny, ABI Plumbing Eating, letting his uh, furrow flush and getting Matty here. Uh, Shout out to Struggling like a baboon. Do you want me to get in and get sorted or what? No, just let me do it. Matty, honestly, mate, he's killing me though. You're useless, mate. What do you want to do? You can't even do it. Yes, I can. Stay at you. Just... Come on, get your head in the gear. Why you take that, sir? Just add a bit of change. Have a little. Have a little tip here, Yeah. See a magnet, yeah? Yeah. That looks quite clear, that water, doesn't it? And the magnet's quite clear as well. But, be it known to the eye, it's still quite clear, that. <laughs> well, yeah, but obviously we aren't drain the full content yet. We're draining this bit of water. Then once we get the magnet cleanse on properly, I think I'll pull a lot more stuff out of it, like I say. Just one thing I don't get here at Caprani. Why is it I'm always grafting and you're always eating? Dinner time. No, it's not dinner time. Yeah, what, what time is it? T 12 minutes past 12. Okay. <laughs> have you even asked for dinner? No. As in, well, you're having an apprentice no more, so I can't have that card. I was going to say I was an apprentice, but you're not an apprentice, are you? Backbone of the company, aren't you, lad? Yeah. So I'm going to get this set up, get this cracked on here, how it can fall this, because I don't know what's going to happen. What you got there? I'll stop right, I can't do that. Tesco meal It's on now, I can edit it. Right guys, near for the prime plumbing I'm going to bear my nostrils. So now I've just had to cut some pipes in here. I've had to put a 28 mil gate valve here, why am I? Yup. Why have we had to put a 28 mil gate valve here? She was passing and we haven't got the press gun. Lump's got the press gun. But all I'm going to do literally... Neat soldering, you know, it's soldered, do you know what I mean? Didn't wear the thingy. I would tend to give it a little spray spray. Do that straight yeah, but that's what college say. Right? I actually like crack the solder, crack the joint. And I'll be honest with you, never ever done it to me in all the years I've been doing it. That's a nice rag you've got there. It's a bit blow off, lots of wet, so it's good. So, the reason why I've done this, I'm actually going to show you now. You've got them little uh, caps, my tea. Yeah, I won't. Feel weird. What I'm going to do, get a magna cleanse ready to go. Just literally getting set up now. Want the setup's the worst procedure and stuff like that. But once it's set up, it's pretty much self-explanatory, isn't it, Matt? Yeah. I'm glad I'm working right today. So one on there, one on there, like that. Push fit, push fit, bosh. <laughs> just, get, just get close to that, please, Matt. I'm gonna connect these to them now. My machines. And we'll see how someone and someone say some air. Uh, what is it? Black. Black gold. Horrendous. I don't know, I don't talk to him. <laughs> these, like I say, as long as you maintain these bits of kit, we have a fabulous bit of kit. We use this all the time, don't we, Matt? All the time. Second time we've used it. I've never done one of these, I've been here four years. <laughs> so today, guys, it's just all about me learning how to do a power flush, really. So if your system's dirty, get one of these in, because they're an absolute nightmare. 
So I need to put a new drain off in because Matty did the drain off and you'll see. Didn't take the rubber out, so I'll go get some more in the van. Put that back in and then, oh no, to be fair though, don't matter, you know why not? If I shut them off, we're just going to run the returns, aren't we? So we'll shut the cylinder off, fill it back up. And keep it rolling. Ask me a question, Matt. What do you think the fans want to know? Ask me a question, I'll answer it. Do you think these are worthwhile doing? Yes, and no. Because I don't like doing them because I always feel like you're selling a contour to a client. When I say a contour client, they do work and I'll prove it because I'll get the hoses black. I'll show you these magnets, but yes, and no. In all honesty, if I come to a stage sometimes when things aren't working, I'll like just repipe it because sometimes it's so far gone. But that's each and these discussions to run. So I'm going to shut both these off. <laughs> Shot and then should be able to now. Oh, before I do, I'll show you this as well. My strong arms. Just so you know. Nice and clean. Why is it important to keep them clean, Nathan? We're in. I'm checking the clean now before I go ahead. Same with that one. Because once I get going now, we'll take the machine on the radiators and bang all the radiators. Excuse me, it's just got, I've got my personal gallery instead of cleaning my house. Once I've done all the radiators, uh, we'll go on and bang them all off. So I'll put some pressure back in now. Can I open this up? See the water coming in, being introduced now. This, as MJ Tiff would say, what is it? I don't know. Real well plumbing. I'm gonna fill up that for once, shite. I mean, rubbish. You can see my hose is now starting to fill the water. But yeah, it's each one. I don't, I don't mind doing the magnet clean, like I said, brand everything, but yeah, it's. Is that for that? Just brand everything. Is that a good one, yeah? Shoot this part of us up as well. I spoke to my father, asked him what he could do. Money to to mention. Oh, money, money. Did you get copyright for that? I've Probably. So we are now getting pressure. You see the water in the pipes now filling up? She is good to go very shortly. All the air bubbles, cavitation that. So when we discuss what pumps and stuff, this cavitation. So when you do a pump in your tummy, this is makes its way to the exit all like that. Strange guy. <laughs> You're an absolute idiot, why would you say that? But half a bar now, so I get ready to find the bulb. What I'm gonna to have to do quickly on my is check that because we've got quite a lot of water on the electrics, didn't we? I say electric, it was Going over the cavitation, the cavitation box. Was that avoidable, that water? Yeah, uh, yes and no. A bit of water's at the bottom there, but nothing to worry about. Bang! But I know it's ice that's safe, but why would you do that? <laughs> Idiot. Absolute fool. Bash. Bash. I'll leave it like that while I'm drying out because that's not going on. Sort of filling on my arms, eh? Yeah, we'll get fired up now. So, run for it, just fill it up now, boilers back on, get it more pressure in there, get it run for once, get these going, is that alright? Right, Matty, quick run for where we're at now, what's going on now then? So, what's going on now is we've Attached the magnet cleanse by the boiler up, and it's water in the system, it's just pumping around the system. Coming back to here, getting in there. So, I don't know if you can up. see, but it's all little air bubbles coming through, which ain't a lot. But what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get my SDS on that, so I've actually charged drill, which appreciate that, mate. We need to go around on every radiator now. Right. Yeah, and what you do. Put this in your hammer drill, and literally 
just go on the STS sat on the drills on the rads then any crap that's in the rads mate we'll just push it out like say so that's the plan now mate then are we using yours or my STS? Got a Milwaukee mate but if you want to do what I'll use it. The reason why I like these Michael Keynes and so does Matty at Capran for me don't you Matt? Yeah don't mind them. I still need to get my aircon there but anyways. Can I insert the valves like that? I'll wait on you to see what's going on. We're going to be running for about five minutes just literally just getting the page out of the system but I don't think there's going to be much to show you right now I'll be brutally honest with you. I'm going to crack one up then. There won't be nothing on that. Well I don't know. Not a lot is it, but obviously summit though, isn't it? Summit. So what I'm going to do with you now? Uh, how can I do with some metal, lad? I reckon I'm getting quite a few bits out of this. Oh yeah, look at that. See, yeah, so it does start, work. Starts working. What we'll do is uh, I'll drink some of that now. Do you feel like what these? Where did you drain the water from? That drain I think's from that one, really, doesn't it? The other bottom one. Doesn't matter. What we'll do. Got way back upstairs. <laughs> so again, I would. Matt's put that on the wrong but it's not a problem. You are. You put that on the wrong drain. I think from the bottom, but it's fine. You put the first one on. I was playing the apprentice. Yeah, the apprentice. Now that's what kills me. So I'm doing is just soaking that water up in there. We'll see in a sec why. I want to do. This is strong stuff. Sentinel X800, you see this? Cleans rapidly, even in cold. I'm gonna run this from the full system now. I'm not putting a lot in. Again, I'm gonna pour a little bit into my thing there. What's up in there now? Pause enough. Why why are we putting some chems in? To all them viewers. I'm only putting a bit in because it's strong stuff, this, but the only reason why I'm doing it is. Is that in there? Of course it is, why? <laughs> Shall I clean them off now? Yeah. <laughs> what we'll do now, we'll run it around, go and start banging that thing. We'll go bang all the give the lads a good bang in. It's not my job this, I just don't like this thing's a boring job, don't you? Quite interesting really. It's not at all. Are we doing all the rads or just the ones that are working? All of them. Right, so it's what I'll do. I'll get this to turn back on the boil out, Matt. Uh, I thought it's put no pressure, unfortunately, because uh, we're quite close with this. So we'll fire that back up. I'll put a little more temperature in there now as well. Go to about 70 degrees, it'll work a lot better with the chemical dose in the system. And then what we're going to do now is give it a good full cleansing and see what we can get out of it and see what happens here. Eh? Stay tuned. I will be honest with you. Talk to me, Matt. I'm not too keen on this, but it has to be done, doesn't it? No, yeah, I, I, I don't like it, but obviously it must work. It must be served. So put your e defenders on everyone and let's go. Let's crack your feet, please. Go on then. As Cut. you can see, I'm doing that, but it doesn't damage it. That's yeah. falling off. Yeah. <laughs> go on then, keep going along with it. We're getting plenty of heat coming for this one, so we don't want it. <laughs> back in to the uh, garage where the boiler is again these don't look too dirty to be fair but you'd be surprised if I was to isolate that now how much debris that is actually picking up so again I'll keep that going around just got to keep it vented all the time as well I'm going to keep them going around now while we're doing each individual radiator give the system a good hour now going around each rad doing it and I'm pretty certain that you will see a difference in this it'll push a lot of debris on the system but yeah uh, Means to an end, hopefully, his clients had a lot of issue with debris in the system, so this should all be well in tandem push it out. It's very important when you're doing this, always keep pressure on the drill because if not, it'll start. 
back. Just shut up and get it done. You'll be everywhere. <laughs> Just a little top tip from you me. You have now. anyway. <laughs> Rogan and Matt, live and direct, AJ Tracy live and direct. So I've now, again we've already done a few rads on the system up to now, the chem's going in, so we'll just put to go around to firing them off, but just drain this bit of pressure out, because gotta make sure this becomes a pressurised container, the cavitation can come with care, can't it Matty? So what we do when pressurisation happens, pressurisation, panic, it can be explosive, so you have to be very careful, very vigilant is the answer. Ooh. Yeah, so what are we thinking Matt? Quite black I'm going for. I don't know, I don't think it's that bad yet because I don't think we've got to the midst of it yet. It's picking bits up you see though. Not loads but it's still getting bits so the longer we leave it going round the more I think it's going to be, you know. I was kind of hoping it would like proper gunge black but you can see obviously every time we do it. Which you are wiping it though, do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I'm cleaning it every time, so if you were to gauge it every time, you would see, wouldn't you? It's still quite chunky on there, though, there's no lock in it. It's not massive amounts, but if you were to look like there now, it's quite thick, do you know? Stuff here, stuff here, kept it there. Yeah. We'll fire the boil back again now then. We'll go again, can't we? But yeah, we'll keep going. Might love the pit stop, don't you? What yeah. What lights you got here then? Show me. All my boys know what I'm worse for. It's a bag of sweets. <laughs> Why should you brand everything? What? Why should you brand everything? So people know it's us. <laughs> We're ripping them off. Do you think you're doing enough? See where we're at, we've had some chunk coming out, but I don't think it's still going to be that bad. I'm, I'm looking more now that it's going to be bump on its way out because. What are you thinking? Could be the same, mate, from what we've. that discussion we've just had there. We're still pulling debris out, I mean look at that, that's getting worse isn't it? Mm -hmm. So it's definitely still doing a job, do you know, it's not... I want to get majorly excited and start creating blockages but that ain't open so... Phone call then, so again we'll check this one. I'm not overly excited, again there's still quite a bit of debris in there but I'm not getting excited over that yo. No. And Punk's making a racket so... I think it's time maybe to bite the bullet with this one, I've, I've given it a thingy. Don't know what going to do, it might be a case of that, that's what we may look at doing. At least, I suppose, the, the saving grace system's not a good flush. You're not bothered, are you? It's not a good flush, it has a good bang as well, isn't it? Good, what, bang? Yeah. Now I'm getting fault code, which is class. That'll be heat, you've got the return closed, haven't you, down there? Yeah, someone's getting them, I can whip them on. The pump, because it'll be sensing there's no flow. I don't think it's got a flow switch. That's it. He's got that bottom one as well. Yeah, I don't need a chance. Sorry, 
Let's keep venting this off. Yeah, keep venting because it's pulling all the air out. You can see here. Yeah, I can see the bubbles coming around the neck. I'll just keep it open. Yeah, it's good. Now I'm getting the same fault code now, which is good. Oh, mate, E114. You made that? Red hot that. That pump feels alright though, look at that. Come on, get the heat away. It won't get the heat away from the boiler. Both the valves open. Oh mate, that sounds like fun. What a nightmare that is. I bet if you look at E14 now. Turn it off. Can do, it. Can do it, yeah. E14 on the case then I think it is gonna be fun mate, to be honest with you. Because you can hear it. Mate, to be fair, that's off rate, it's kettle in the boil that, there's no heat getting away, that's why. E112, so we two two control Yeah, but I think that's coming up with a, I think it's off rate, the boiler. So this is it on the job, so a little bit of technical, I've got a few issues going on, mid flush. E014, but that heat exchange feels red hot, so I, I, I'm surmising that, I'm not getting no heat getting away from the boiler. E14 now. I'm just going to drain a bit of that return the boiler because it is steaming up that. Yeah, that's red up, mate. So I'll just try to so pull that boiler down a Please, mate. Sorry, pal. So I'm having a bit of a nightmare with this. Uh, I think there's a major issue with that pump as well. So what I'm going to do is whip the pump body up now, see what's going on behind it, because again, this boiler's 20 years old, and I'm going to add this one in my van, so it's only a 2580. 25, 70, 130. This is a 180, 50, 60. So again, pretty similar. My plan's going to be... It's a nightmare. But I'll whip that out now, just ahead, see what's going on while it's rattling. I think there's a lot of debris maybe caught in there as well, see what's going on. And then I'm going to cut the pump here, Try on the system, see what happens, see if it makes a difference. I need to see if I can bypass electric somewhere. Just need some more someone to get this in a position today where I know what we're going to do because it's either looking at costing you a pump and bits and bats for the boiler or asking the main man behind me if I want to go on a Saturday. You'll go on a Saturday, Matt. New boiler. I'd seen it already. Yeah. So these I've had since I was. A young whip it and I don't know more, but these do every pump on the market. So a large and a little, and again, just pump on keys. I've had them for absolute years and great bit of kit. Great bit of kit. I've whipped them ones out already, so I want to take that out there. Got to be careful on the pumps drop out. Don't think it will though. But I want to see what the rattling noise is because it's making a right rattling noise behind there. Now we'll see if we can. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, gosh. I just took the pump out, it's connected to the pipe. I'm gonna have a look at this now. Don't put that. Right, seriously, mate. What am I gonna do with that? Well, you once told me you'd be able to fix the boiler with just that. I can, most probably. Go but on. not right now. <laughs> yeah. So I've had to reach for the old reset blade. Reason being is, a lot of these portways on the pump that go around, so it's got, I think, seven in total, a block severely, so I need to try. See if I can fish out the debris inside. Yeah, there's a 
lot of stuff coming up there. I won't be able to see much of it, but I can just, like, hear it. Again, I'm going to cut a new well, like in the future, but for now. See that there? Yeah. Just trying to make it work out, mate. This is what we do for our clients, go above and beyond. So if you too would like this doing. Don't be nice, because I won't be doing this again. Call 01482 762 8 Cut that there. That's 01482 762 8 Hi Kevin. Vince. Just taking out the boiler, can you tell me how they work? Pretty simple concept. What? Ah, fucking wait. <laughs> it's all I wanted. I was trying to hang my house up. I was about to put my lips on it and boil for it as well, you know. <laughs> the thing with it at Caprani, we're a team, aren't we? Yeah. Why am I grafted? Look at my head. And all you've done is got my back's killing me, and then you sit down there. Because I've seen you wiping your face with that stuff on the floor. Yep. <laughs> so I've taken the Avent Oxavent to play up as well. So what I'm going to do is, and again, I'm like, oh, why waste your time on it, X, Y, and Z? But I'm just trying to get a means to an end. I'm exhausting every option before we go down the road if it, if it does need your boiler. Me coming on that pump there has helped massively. It will help massively. I was going to drop that in because it's been the van. The air vent's causing issues as well because that air vent there, like I say, is you can see it's seen better days. So again, uh, <clears throat> proving a bit of a nightmare this, but what can I do? Boy's been over it and doing what it does. I just appreciate that I might work with me because I don't think I'd get my day done right. Absolute no use at all. But to be fair, the tide lip's not bad, everything's tidy. No, the workstation's good, isn't it? Look. I'm going to have one around, bang the rods, I'll set that up. Keep an eye on that. Yeah, mate. What have you done apart from? Cut that gate ball in. And made this and little contraption for Magna Cleanse. And then took a pump out. I've been using my brain for full. There you go, you're done now. So, shut up. So, another one for me, again. Don't do downtime. I'm just waiting for Dale now to bring some bits for us because it's part of us for going off site to get these bits. This matter's on with this now. So let's give my van a bit of a clean out again. It's my little office in it, so I've said a load of will be short and stuff like that. I'm just getting it put back together now, so all's good. Matt's down there now. Just trying to find Dale. Here he is. The man. The myth. Dalio. Not bad. Come to pull us out, aren't you? Right, anyway. Why is it arm like this and you look like that? So, huh? So, Dale's down. Go on, Matt, tell Dale what you've learned today. Oh, I'll keep that in as well. Keep it in there. And I will report you to HR. Well, that's not Dale. Matt, can I report someone bullying me at work? Yeah, you can do that. Who is it? Matty. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, tell me what you did. Come on. I've explained it real well, then. not Yeah, I know. I've just... I've explained it three times to him today already though, what I've done. Oh no, I get that bit. Well, the main thing is, Dale's bought me an air vent, so cheers Dale. <laughs> <laughs> no, not all. Well, I, think I, I, just, I just want to be ripped. Please, you, you've got time, haven't you? Like, us at work. Not to take we, photos in the dark. No, no, we are like, right. we work harder than anyone's that you just sit there typing away. I don't like going to gym yet, I'm full of beans. Exactly, so we're always dead, aren't we? So, yeah, that's a fair comment. That's a fair comment. <laughs> You're a grafter. Show your abs then. No, I can't, mate. I can't. I should have watched them. Where's the camera for ages? You took that for the beans. <laughs> Quick, we it then, Matty lads. Where are we at? Where are we at? 
<laughs> Talk to me because I am feeling good. So, Dale getting involved in it, let's celebrate the win. What we've done down here today, guys, we've had this on. And then, obviously, Nick diagnosed that the pump could have been faulty. So, what he's done is he's took that out, he's cleaned it because there was a bit of debris in the um, propeller. Propellers. So, there's only seven or eight ports in the propeller. Two was clear, the rest of them were blocked. So, he's basically, he's working at 20% capacity. That's right, like that. It's now working at 100. <laughs> you impressed with his. <laughs> it's good that. 20% faster than working at 100. You should be a storyteller. How many propellers are they? I'm sorry, mate. Let's say 10 for iron, sir. Two was working. That's fine, Dale. You'll repair this then. Tell him that. Listen, he ain't got a clue, mate. That's why he always just shit. I was just thinking to himself, like, there's eight propellers. He said two of them. Two of them was working. That's 25% to me, but oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, it, it wasn't working well enough, was it? No, it certainly wasn't. It certainly wasn't. Well, it wasn't working to its full capacity. I agree. But you will see, guys. Dale, tell them how much of a busy day we had today. Yeah, absolutely, man. Fair shop this morning. That was a nightmare, wasn't it, Matt? I've been swimming in the for hours. <laughs> yeah, no, to be fair to you, lads, it's, it has been a, quite an odd day, hasn't it? So, give you your due. Matt, get the All Star card. Get some merch to her. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, mate, keep talking to lad. What's going on, lads? Talk to me. My control's too sweet. Let's have a quick... <laughs> 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 quick minute in the van, let's have a catch up with Matty and Dale. Sweet to bang him, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, any motivational saying do you want to say? This video's going to be about an hour long tonight. Mm. Is that watermelon? Yup, Matt. <laughs> what did he say? So what? It tastes nice and melted down. What, better melted? Yeah. Okay. Is that a turtle? <laughs> was. Right, Think of the content we're going to get tomorrow as well, Matt. What are we doing tomorrow, Dale? Oh, we're doing a job for you, aren't you? Next on over. We are, yeah. And what are we doing? So we're going to first fix two of the radiators and first and second fix one radiator upstairs. The upstairs one needs to be a, um, a Stellar Rad. Have they got the rods? Are we two. getting them? We need the rad upstairs. We can just pick it's one a standardised rad and I've got the measurements. Sorry, that's fine. Um, in relation to the, the other two, they're going to be um, designer radiators. Uh, the Sounds... customer does have them. Um, we, Perfect. And they also have the valves as well, so we'll just need to provide the usual pipe left. Watch your fingers, you. Hey. Make sure that make sure you, the pipe left needs to be ingressed into the wall as well. Oh, really? What? Pardon? You need to get your drill out. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, it. You can do the mucky way. Mate, you're horrible, mate. Like, you are eating them, mate. And oh, the fact that he likes them better warm, I just found that real weird. We're having a technical talk here. Where's Luke. someone's sons today? What's he doing? Just got an all in, you know. <laughs> Where's Luke? <laughs> Trying to fix a cooker tap. There's <laughs> half now, isn't it? We've had a nightmare, don't we, Matt? So we've smashed it, haven't we? Good content today. Anyway, guys, leave a comment. Do you know what I mean? What are you saying, Matt? Well, I'll go on and sit crap on because I don't want to be here after. Why do you want to wear clay with me? What do you mean? Because look at the one minute, I'm about to get Tell you what, Matt. <laughs> Don't you get a sense of pride when you fix something? Yeah, you do, yeah. I know we've it and done what we've done, but sure that has aided massively, but finding all that debris in the pump and pulled it out of the boiler, uh, it's good, so we'll keep this boiler going for a little bit longer now. <laughs> Me and Matty, the man. Just need to get tidy up, because what time is it now, my lad? You'll want to get home, have a little barbecue thing packed up now. Uh, flushing bits, all the magna clearance again. We'll like to take time and then do the job like this and wear properly, so I'll be signing out for now.